you are here. I am here. Um, ice skaters play on frozen Lake Winona in this 1926 photograph. Uh, note the overlook on Garvin Heights and the toboggan slide descending from Garvin Heights Road. Wow. Uh, this 1860s etching shows Lake Winona when it was a marshy lowland. The steep peak in the background then known as Wapishaw's Cap was quarried for dolomite from 1886 to 1888. Today only a single column of stone remains called Sugar Loaf. Yeah, that's another place I want to climb up. Is Winona an island? Okay, here we go. With Lake Winona on one side and the river on the other. Okay, the city of Winona seems to be surrounded by water. Not really, but it is not really an island. Oh, you don't say. Lake Winona once was a channel of the Mississippi. Before the locks and dams were built in the 1930s, the river channels changed as sand and silt built up and forced water to find a new course. Okay. Settlers in the 1850s knew Lake Winona as a marshy area full of waterfowl and wildlife. Poor land management practices caused severe soil erosion and siltation of the lake during the next 100 years. The lake has been dredged several times in 1916, 1950 to 1953, and 2002 to create the causeway that separates the two lakes, then to create parkland and better habitat for fish, osprey, bald eagles, and cormorants often fish the lake, especially when the river is muddy. Um, oh, I almost fell over. How big is the Mississippi River? It is 2,301 miles long and drains 40% of the contiguous United States, 1.2 1.24 million square miles. During high water in April, an average of 59,100 cubic feet of water per second flows past Winona. In January, the flow dwindles to an average of 14,700 cubic feet per second. The flood of 1965 increased the flow to more than 268,000 cubic feet per second. <laughs> 